Guys, I feel like a little kid on Christmas right now. Check this out. Cold lovers are here. They, were so, they weren't supposed to get here till a few days from now, but I, I hadn't checked my phone. I just saw the notification said that my package was delivered earlier than expected. So we do have cold lovers, guys. I did leave Efrain's house. I did end the video. We're gonna go ahead and make this a two-part video. Uh, that video is gonna be separate. So we got a second video coming up. We gotta stay on that grind. I told you guys I was like on a lazy break, but we're back. So we're gonna keep grinding. So he told me, hey, come back and we'll install those coilovers. So I'm pretty excited, guys. We're gonna get to slam the car. Suspension is coming along. And as y'all saw the previous video, obviously, um, the control arms feel pretty good, man. I don't know if it's supposed to hook that good because of the control arm. So now that I've already finished the car here and there, added all these exterior parts, I kind of want to get into the performance side of the Mustang. I told you guys, and I promise we're gonna do performance mods. Here they are. I told you guys we're gonna get a turbo. So hopefully we're gonna get that sooner or later. All right, guys, we're back. Picked up a blue raspberry slush. Got a red limeade, strawberry limeade. Got the cold overs. We're back for part two. Like I said, he says it's in my head. He says it's just me. It feels like it's pulling a lot better than when it did, like stock-wise. But I don't know, man. Maybe it's just like I said, I haven't driven it in a while, and it's just I'm excited because I got a new part. But I don't know. He says just it's just me. All right, guys. This I'm excited for. So, guys, after about five years with my SR Performance Springs, finally gonna upgrade and get some coilovers. Um, they were good to me, inch and a half all around. The reason why I got them was because one, they were cheap, and uh, two, I just wanted to lower the, lower the car enough to reduce some of that wheel gap that we do have stock with the V6 Mustang. And I've been running stock shocks and struts, and I think they're bottomed out already, they're done. So I was like, you know what, I'll transition to coilovers, I'll be able to slam the car a bit more, and it gives me a whole new setup, fresh setup to work with. And uh, so it pairs up nice with the uh, rear control arms. We're working on suspension. And wow, man, first time seeing coilovers in person. Super, super excited. Damn, I thought I had gone with red coilovers, but I ended up going with yellow, I believe. And this, um, I messed up, or they messed up, but I'm okay with it. Look at these babies right here. Wow. Hopefully it makes a difference. I'm okay with bottoming, bottoming the car to a point just to where I don't hear too much rattling. I don't want to hear the car falling apart, you know, like all those bolts and everything shaking around. So I just want to have a good, nice, clean setup. It's not for comfortability. The car is my daily driver, of course, but I, I'd rather, I'll sacrifice the right quality just to have the car looking real badass, especially going into shows. And some of my friends have been working on the cars and their cars are pointed along, so I got to step up my game as well. So, I mean, we're, we're gonna keep the, the, the grind, guys. The build's gonna keep moving forward. And uh, you know what? That's just enough of me yapping and let's get into the, the install, man. The wheels are off. It's time to get into business. So, let's see, what are we doing? I think it's 18 millimeter, right? Yeah. So we're gonna remove this one, this, this one, um, you think you need another one back here to hold this? Oh, really? Uh, okay. Relax, dude. I'm trying to learn. I watched a YouTube video before getting started, so I, you know, I, I kind of know something right now. So, I mean, you guys already know we're going to remove this whole tower right here. We're going to drop the rotors, and uh, we have to loosen these right here. Do the same thing on both sides. Pretty much it's the drop-in. The coilovers already come pre-mounted and everything, so it's literally just a plug-and-play from here. Quick comparison guys between the new ones and the old ones. These are actually a lot lighter than the stock ones. They look nicer too. But man, I'm pretty excited to put these on. Gonna make a hell of a difference. He's got coilovers, he's got the SVE. These are the the max speeding rods. These aren't SVEs, these aren't IBOC. This is a different, I think these are from Canada, if I'm not mistaken. That's, I mean, that's where they were shipped from. Canada, so, eh? Yeah. So let's see how, how it turns out. I'll be sure to let you guys know if these are worth it. These are a fraction of the price as well, a lot cheaper. So it's a, a budget coilover. 
but hopefully it handles and just performs pretty good. This has been a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. It's not that hard, it's a bunch of bolts, but the thing is I think we're missing what one, what the 17 millimeter or 15? For the back? Uh, yeah. We're missing one of the lugs, um, one of the sockets, so we had to like improvise. Because the, one of the wrenches you have to hold it from the back and then with the socket you, you know you gotta loosen it up. So we don't have one so we have to improvise. So it gets a lot harder when you're doing stuff like that. But the one side is done, he's still working on this side. All I've literally done is like unscrew the freaking... And bring a Sonic. <laughs> and bring a Sonic and unscrew the top like where the camber bolt, the camber plate goes, that's all I've done. But this is the front side and it is done. Now we're, just, we're still working on that one. I might have to come back tomorrow to do the rears because we've been here for about close to two hours and we've barely done maybe an hour and a half and we've done the front. We? You, you've done the front. I'm sorry guys, I mean, I was saying, I, I wish I would be able to knock this out at home by myself, but I think I would have just given up and taken it somewhere. Good thing, shout out to Efrain is always coming in clutch. We're gonna have to pay him back somehow. I don't know, maybe maybe a free mod or when he gets his Fox up and running. We'll, we'll find a way to pay him back, don't worry about it. You know, we got, we got him. Both front coilovers are installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop the jack and see where the uh, height is on the stang. But he's not too low, man. Oops. That's too. Take it out. Dang. I think that's perfect. I don't know. That, oh, it looks kind of off right now because the rears are still at the uh, winch and a half right height but man i think it's perfect i don't know i think that i don't know as long as i can turn and there's no rubbing issues then i have no issues with this fitment right here but damn i love it there's just one issue that i just ran into it's a little bit too low and i can't remove the jack so i'm gonna have to find something to put under the tires because yeah this thing ain't coming through that's at least another inch drop guys wow Damn, I just wish we would have done the rear. We've been here since about one o'clock and it's already about to be six, but we did knock out the rear control arms and the front coilovers. We're gonna do the rears tomorrow, so I will cut into it, I guess, tomorrow. So just expect part two in this video. So don't just like, you guys get what I'm doing. We're back for part two. I'm filming on my phone because the camera for some reason ran out of, well, I know for some, what reason, but it's out of uh, memory. But we did fix the fronts. They were terribly low. At first I didn't mind, took it home. The ride quality was super, super bad. I didn't mind if it was bad, but it was like terrible bad. The car was like shaking and I heard all these noises. So we ended up lifting it up just a bit. I think that's good clearance. I, I approved that clearance right there. Now we're gonna work on, well, Frank's working on the rears and we got a special guest, we got Luis with us. We're gonna install a JLT colder intake in the process while we do all this stuff. So it's coming along. We got these control arms yesterday, front coilovers are on. It was a success, it's just that it was way too low. Uh, everything else was good, we double checked, everything's tightened up. Now it's just time to work on these babies right here. Oh, it hurt. All right, the old ones are out. New ones are gonna go on, and I kind of got a small boo boo. Aww, how cute. We got progress on the charger. We got everything taken off over there. Luis is trying to get the map sensor installed on the old tube. Everything's removed on both sides, and I'll try trying to get this one on there. You got this one in there? What? Oh, I didn't take it off. You want me to take it off? Yeah. All right, these are old ones are off. He's got everything else here ready to just go in. Struts, new springs. What's this moment of truth? I mean, you 
can't rev it. It's like 10 o'clock at night, guys. We can't rev it right now. Maybe, no, not even a little bit. But we should hear the little like, I see. <laughs> yeah, we can't rev it. Maybe another time, another video, we'll, we'll check it out. It's up and running, everything's bolted up, so it shouldn't have any issues. Usually, like, the only issue would be if it's like not connected well, because the air wouldn't be running well from the intake, but no, it looks pretty good. Huh? 95 intake And what does it usually run at? It was like a 104. Like 104? Yeah. So it, it's running cooler? 140. Alright guys, so it has been a couple of days after we filmed that video. And let me go ahead and just show you guys a walk around of the fitment. Front is perfect and the rear needs to go down just a bit. But y'all can see. It's a lot lower than it was before i can fit maybe yeah the two fingers can't go in so I, I still need a little bit lower fronts are perfect i do rub sometimes only when i hit like dips like when i leave my neighborhood where you can see it's over there there's a dip i do uh scrape there but other than that it's really really good we did have to adjust these a bit more because the ride quality was horrendous was super 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 bad um but i mean so far so good i am gonna go ahead and drive it around try to show you guys uh i guess a ride with me video so i'll go ahead and try to set that up for you guys next time i have been driving it around for a few days so far so good but i'm gonna go ahead and try to get the reaction with you guys on there maybe a good 10 minute drive five minute drive just talk to you guys but that'll be in the next video i hope remember if you're new subscribe to the channel guys drop a like down below I'll catch you on the next one god bless